Hello class, this is Ms. Augustine, and today we're going to talk about significant figures. And we're going to have some practice with sig figs, and we're going to practice with calculations as well. So first of all, let's recall the rules for significant figures. First, all non-zero integers are significant. Leading zeros, so zeros that are at the left-hand side of a number, are not significant. Captive zeros, zeros sandwiched between two non-zero integers, are significant. Trailing zeros are only significant if the number contains a decimal point, so trailing zeros are zeros at the right-hand side of a number. And exact numbers have an infinite number of significant figures. And remember, exact numbers include counting numbers, and they include any, um, any, um, conversion facts that you might have, like one week equals seven days. So sig fig practice one. How many significant figures are in each of the following? So the first number is 1.0070. So we have two kinds of zeros here. We know the non-zero integers are significant. We know the captive zeros are always significant. And in this case, we have a trailing zero the number contains a decimal point, so we have one, two, three, four, five sig figs. This number has a trailing zero and it contains a decimal point, so I'm counting one, two, three, four sig figs. This next number, 3.29 times 10 to the third, this is a number that has been put into scientific notation. For scientific notation, only the numerical part of the number uh, is considered when counting sig figs. So here we have three significant figures. Here we have a number that has leading zeros, zeros at the left-hand side. They are not significant. The number contains a decimal point, and so we know that this number has only two non-zero integers, so two sig figs. Here is a number that has trailing zeros, zeros that are to the right-hand uh, side of the number. There is no decimal point, so we're only confident here to the hundred thousands place. So this number only has two significant figures because the trailing zeros are not significant. Now before we start talking about significant figures and how they are um, counted, when you're doing a calculation, let's remember rules for rounding. So when you're rounding a number, you always begin at the left-hand side of the number, and you count over to the last significant figure that should be reported. So if you should be reporting two or three significant figures, you would count to that last digit that should be reported. And then you must look at the number that immediately follows that last digit and the rule that you learned when you were in elementary school still applies. If that number is a five and above, you give it a shove, and if it's four and below, you let it go. So now let's look at some mathematical operations, and we're gonna start with multiplication and division. So here's the rule. The number of significant figures in the answer, in the result, must equal the number in the least precise measurement used in the calculation. So let's look at an example. Here I'm multiplying 6.38 times 2.0. This number has three significant figures. This number has two significant figures, which is less. Two sig figs is less. My calculator gives me 12.76. Because I can only report two sig figs, I go to my results that my calculator gave me, I begin counting at the left, I count over to the second significant figure, and I look at the number immediately following it, that's a seven. I have to round up because five and above, I give it a shove, so my two becomes a three. So now let's practice. Here's going to be the calculation, here's what the calculator is going to say, and then here's what we round our answer to. So first um, example, 3.24 times 7.0. 
the calculator gives me this number. Now I look over here. The first number has three sig figs. The second number has two sig figs. I'm going to have to round to two sig figs. I come over here. My second significant digit is the two. The number immediately following it is a six. That means I have to round up. Correct answer, 23, and in this case, meters squared. This number, 100.0 divided by 23.7. My calculator gives me this. I notice this number has three, and this number has three. So I need to write, excuse me, this number has four, sorry, and this number has three. The lesser of the two is three significant figures. I come over here, one, two, three. My third significant digit is the one. The number immediately following it is a nine. So I'm going to have to round up. So my answer will be 4.22, and in this case, grams per centimeter cubed. Here I have 0 0.02 times 2.371. Here's what my calculator gives me. This number only has one significant digit because the leading zeros are not significant, and this one has four. I'm going to have to round to one. My four is followed by a seven. That means I'm going to have to round up, so my answer will be 0 0.05, and in this case, the unit is centimeters squared. Here I have 710 divided by 3.0. This is what my calculator gives me. This number has two sig figs. <coughs> this number has two sig figs. To round to two sig figs, my second significant digit is the three. Number following it is a six, so I'm going to have to round to 240, two sig figs. If I were to put a decimal there, that would make three sig figs, and that is no bueno. So again, remembering the rules for zeros is very important. Here we have one, two, three, four, five sig figs times one, two, three sig figs. My calculator gives me this number. So here, five versus three. I need to round to three significant figures. So coming over here, one, two, three, my third significant digit is a seven. I can only report three sig figs. The number immediately following it is a two, so I have to let it go. So my answer is going to be five, eight, seven, zero. I have to let it go because I can't report that two. I can only report three significant figures. And again, no decimal point, because if I were to put a decimal point, the number would have four significant figures. Here I have 1.030, this is four sig figs divided by 2.87, three sig figs. My calculator gives me this. I can only report three sig figs, so this is four versus three. One, two, three, the third significant figure is the five. The number immediately following it is a six, so that means I'm going to round up 2.96. My five gets rounded up to a six. So now let's talk about some more mathematical operations. And now we're going to talk about addition and subtraction. So it turns out that the way we round for addition and subtraction is different than the way we round for multiplication and division. So in addition and subtraction, the number of decimal places in the result equals whatever number in the measurement had the least precision. So it's going to be the number that had the fewest decimal places. So here an example of 6.8 plus 11.934. This number only reported to the tenths place, and this one was to the thousandths place. So I'm going to have to round my answer to match this number, which only reports to the tenths place. So I'm going to do my addition, and I'm going to get 18.734, sorry, 18.734. I keep all the digits there, and then I look at my number, and I notice that I have to round it to the tenths place, so that would be the seven. The number immediately following it is a three, so four and below, you let it go. So my correct answer is 18.7, which is to the tenths place. And if I'm going ahead now and using this number in another calculation, I can note that the resulting number here only has three sig figs, if I'm going to use this for another calculation. So, more practice. I'm going to give you a calculation, tell you what the calculator says, and then we're going to round. So in the first case, I have 3.24 plus 7.0, and this is what my calculator gives me. I notice 
that the least precise number here is to the tenths place, so I'm going to round to the tenths place. Correct answer is 10.2. Here I have 100.0 minus 23.73. This is what my calculator gives me. My least precise number here is to the tenths place. So I'm going to round to the tenths place. The number immediately following it is a 7. That means I'm going to round up. So my answer is 76.3. Here I have uh, 0.02 plus 2.371. This is what my calculator gives me. Um, my least precise measurement is to the hundredths place. I need to round to the hundredths place, so my answer will be 2.39. Here, 713.1 minus 3.872. This is what my calculator gives me. My least precise measurement is to the tenths place. I'm going to need to round to the tenths place, so my answer will be 709.2. Um, 1,818.2 plus 3.37. Calculator gives me this. My least precise measurement is to the tenths place, so I'm going to round to the tenths place. The number immediately following it is a 7, so I'm going to round up. So my answer will be 1821.6. And this last one, 2.030 mils minus 1.8 seven zero mils. My calculator gives me this. Now I know that both of my measurements are to the thousandths place, but my calculator gave me the hundredths place. I need to report to the thousandths place, so I'm going to add a zero. So my answer should be 0 0.160 mils. So that is my practice for now with calculations with sig figs. There will be more tutorials as we start to do worksheets. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.